January 8, 2019, 11, 24 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, January 8, 2019, 11, 24 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, American Football, English, Baltimore Ravens, San Diego Chargers, NFL The Chargers held Lamar Jackson to his lowest completion percentage in his start in Los Angeles' 23-17 win over the Ravens on Sunday. Lamar Jackson struggled Sunday in the Ravens' 23-17 loss to the Chargers in the AFC wildcard game. One Los Angeles defensive lineman says it's because they knew what was coming a good portion of the day. Damian Square, a defensive end who started a nose tackle on Sunday, told the MMQB the Chargers knew what the Ravens were running, 60-70% to 70 of the time, he gave in. Example of a play that ended the Ravens' opening drive, the team was facing a third and five near midfield, and Square said they knew Jackson likes to escape to his left. After Jackson had scanned the field trying to find somewhere to throw, he did indeed drift left, and Square began to move with him. Defensive end Isaac Rochelle was in Jackson's face as he dropped the ball, but Jackson then recovered it himself and again tried to scamper left. Square was closing in on him as Jackson threw an incomplete pass, forcing a punt. The Chargers held Jackson to his lowest completion percentage in a start this season, 48.3%, and his second lowest rushing total, 54 yards. They also forced him into four turnovers, one interception, three fumbles. Los Angeles head coach Anthony Lynn and his staff schemed Baltimore much differently than in the two teams' first matchup of the year, which resulted in a 22-10 Ravens win. Our defensive coaches felt like against this quarterback, it would be good to go small, because the DBs can help in coverage and they can help track Lamar, Lynn said. And it worked. Now, we were prepared to go a different direction if it didn't work. But for the most part, it worked. Sunday, what resulted was a Ravens offense being held scoreless in the first half and to three points through three quarters. Baltimore was held to 229 total yards in the game, the team's lowest output since Jackson took over at quarterback. The Chargers will now face off with the Patriots at 1.05 p.m. ET on Sunday at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough.